So in this video, I want to talk a bit about the basic data types that are available to variables. Now here I am inside of a simple blueprint. This is just an actor blueprint that has nothing but a billboard component. I'm going to click on the create variable button and I'll call this my variable. Now as soon as you create your variable, it's already going to have a variable type. You can change that in the variable type dropdown, and you'll see a list of all of the possible data types. Now, the ones we're going to be talking about are the ones that are already visible. All of these other types that have their own submenus, we're going to save those for their own separate videos later on. Now, for the most part, knowing what each one of these types are is very, very easy since uh, the tooltips actually kind of help you out. So you have bool, which is true, false, of course, integers and floats. So that's uh, integer has no decimal point, float does. String is any collection of alphanumeric characters. So that could be letters, numbers, symbols, etc. cetera. Uh, vector, that's X, Y, and Z data. So that's really good for things like location, though you can use it to uh, do some things with things like color as well. Uh, or you could convert it to a rotator. A uh, rotator is uh, rotation uh, information. So that would be things like yaw, pitch, and, uh, and roll for the three different ways you can rotate a 3D object. And then you have a transform. And this is uh, translation, rotation, and scale. So it's position, uh, rotation, and scale all in a single object, which you'll probably use a lot as you spawn objects in your games. Now, a few things about these data types. Uh, as mentioned in a previous video, after you set your data type or your variable type, once you start using that variable somewhere in your graph, so in this case, I'll just create a getter, uh, then that type is permanent. You cannot change it. In fact, notice that my variable type property is now grayed out, and I cannot change that. Uh, that means that during gameplay, we could not make this variable suddenly store uh, an integer value. That said, however, there are a lot of compatibilities between different uh, variable types that you should be aware of. So for instance, currently this variable is a Boolean value, which means it is true or false. However, true or false can be said in a lot of different ways. You could say it is yes or no. You can also say it is one or zero, and one and zero are integer values. So if we had a node that was something like, uh, let's say int plus int, so I have two integer values, and we could say this one is set to 8, but add to this uh, the, the value of this my variable, which is a Boolean. Notice we get a little pop-up that says convert bool to int, and we get a little conversion node that pops up. So we are literally taking the true-false value, converting it to an integer. So if it was true, it would be 1. If it was false, it would be 0. And then we can do other operations to that. And there are a lot of different conversions like this that take place. Just to show one more really fast, uh, let me set this over to something like a float. And if I have something like a print string, which, by the way, uh, probably the easiest way to create a print string node is just to type log. So I don't think I ever really type print. I just type in log, and that'll create that. So I can bring in my variable, choose a getter, and let's drag this to uh, the string. Now notice that color coding, too. That's important to point out. Uh, if we drag this into, notice it says it's going to convert the float to a string. So it's going to take that number, convert it to a string of alphanumeric characters so that we could display it on the screen. So uh, since we've kind of brought that up real quick, I do want to mention these uh, color-coded uh, little capsules next to each one of the various data types. Those remain consistent throughout your graph. So if you see a red wire, that means it's a Boolean value that is being passed through that wire. If you see, uh, say, this kind of yellowish-orange wire, that's going to hold a vector. Once you get used to using variables, you'll find that you'll remember those colors off the top of your head and things get to be a whole lot easier. So that is a quick rundown of the basic uh, data types. So that will conclude this video. Thanks a lot.